Jeremy here from Left Brain Logic. We've recently created a tool that allows you to import a journal entry directly from an Excel spreadsheet into QuickBooks Desktop. Let me show you this tool. Okay, so let's jump right into this. On the left, I've got the JE Import spreadsheet open that I'm going to use to create the journal entry and post into QuickBooks. And I've got QuickBooks open to the Sample Rock Castle Construction Company, which is just the sample company that comes with QuickBooks. Um, in the spreadsheet, I've got this JE workbook that I've created just a simple uh, journal entry in. I've got payroll expenses, some liabilities, and then a credit to checking. Uh, the date on this journal entry is 12-1, and I've used it, I'm using a journal entry number of payroll. So this journal entry is actually just ready to post. Uh, in QuickBooks, I've actually opened up a quick report on the payroll accounts just so that you can see this journal entry pop over into QuickBooks. So this is ready to go. All I have to do is hit post journal entry. Boom. The journal entry is posted. It's ready to go. You'll get a note saying that the, that it was successfully posted. Um, if I double click on this journal entry, uh, you'll see all the amounts, of course, match up with the memos and the, the entry number on there. It's just as if you had typed it directly into, into QuickBooks. Okay, so let's walk around this spreadsheet just a little bit more. So I have in this workbook, uh, there's three required fields, and this is the same as, in, as if you were to put the journal entry directly into QuickBooks. You've got your date, you've got an account, and you've got an amount. Those fields must be completed in order to post a journal entry. Uh, the other thing to note is you can choose to enter classes. Those are here. You can select those and, and uh, add that to your journal entry. When you're posting to an accounts payable or to an accounts receivable account, you can select the customer uh, in here and, and, and post directly to that customer's account, um, which is actually required if you use a uh, accounts payable or accounts receivable account. Um, for the amount filled, positives or debits, negatives or credits, they must, of course, add up to zero. Um, this field right here, this JE balance, all that's actually doing is just a sum on all of these amounts. So when all of these, I mean, it's just going to tell you the, the sum of what's in there. So if, for instance, we didn't total out yet and it didn't net zero, it's going to turn red and just give you a flag saying, hey, there's your journal entry isn't quite ready to post. You need to have it balanced. So um, when you get it all in there, it zeroes out and turns green just as a flag saying, okay, you're good to go. Um, these other fields, class, memo, um, customer name, if you're not going to accounts receivable or accounts payable, these fields are all, they're optional. They don't have to be completed. Um, also, just note that the journal entry itself needs to be contained inside the table here. Now, if you haven't spent a lot of time with tables in Excel, uh, just know that this little blue frame that you see around these fields, that's the table. So if you were to put information like down here um, where the, the blue frame is not included in that, this information would not be posted to QuickBooks. Also, blank spaces won't work either. So even if the table, and you can expand this table just by dragging it, even if the table did include this, these blank spaces would also cause a problem. So you can't have blank spaces in here. Um, and then as far as adding new rows to the table, if you just put in a value below an existing, the existing table, it will automatically expand to include that row. So really all you have to do is just add rows to your table and it will expand as you go. Now, if you ever need to delete rows, you can either just highlight these rows and say delete, right click on those and say delete and it will shift it up. You can also just within the table itself, right click and say delete table row and it will delete that row. Um, but of course, as soon as I did, that threw the, the, the balance off. Um, but once you have all of your information in there, it zeroes out. If you have all of your required fills, you can just hit post journal entry and that it will just post it to QuickBooks. Um, there's also this tables workbook that's in this in the worksheet. This um, workbook has just a collection of tables that that are used to collect information from QuickBooks. So for instance, this these are all of the 
um, accounts that are in QuickBooks. So if I went, came over here and opened up a chart of accounts, you'll notice every one of these accounts are represented in this list. Okay, um, And that's just so that when you're building your journal entry, of course, these accounts have to be listed exactly the same as they're listed in QuickBooks. And if you try and, I mean, if you have any spelling issues or spaces or anything like that that's different at all, you're going to get an error back and, uh, and you'll have to, it won't post until those match exactly. So what we do actually is pull the information from QuickBooks so that we have a known good list of accounts. Um, and then when we're building the journal entry, um, we can just select the account that we want from this list and then we know we have a good account because we pulled it right from QuickBooks. Um, it also includes the vendor customer list so if you needed to select a vendor or customer you can just drop it down and again select them from the list so that you know you have it spelled exactly right. Um, and then the other table that's in there are just the classes so again if you do need to put in classes you can do a drop down and select it right from the list. So to, you can update these tables as often as you would like. If I were to add a new account into QuickBooks, all I'd have to do is come into here and select Update Tables. It's going to reach out to QuickBooks, grab all those, refresh the tables, and it's good to go again. So that's all it takes to update that. Also, you can use this same spreadsheet with multiple companies. All you have to do is log out of this company, log back into your new company, say Update Tables, and suddenly you've got a good list of, of uh, accounts for that. Um, company and you can go build a new journal entry for that and and post it to that new company. Uh, the spreadsheet is built to connect to whichever company you have open. So you can change companies and post to whichever one you have open. And that also means that you do need to have QuickBooks open to a particular company that you want to post to. So keep that in mind. So just a couple examples of how we're using this JE import spreadsheet. Um, every month I will use it to create my accruals. What I've done is I've built out the journal entry with all my accrual entries, uh, posted it to QuickBooks, and then I'll save that copy. Uh, the following month, I'll open up the previous month's accruals, make the few adjustments that I need to make, and then I'll save that as a second, as another copy of that spreadsheet, and then I'll post that to, um, to QuickBooks. And so now all I'm doing is pulling up a journal entry, making a few adjustments every month, pushing that to QuickBooks, and I'm off and running. Uh, we also use it to post um, payroll transactions, which can be a pretty extensive journal entry. Um, one area where we're using it a lot is actually for payroll. We have some insurance journal entries that we need to post. Those have been very challenging to enter in, and when we had to manually put those journal entries in into QuickBooks, that was a process that took hours to, to hand enter, and it was just full of human error, things like that that we had to deal with every month. Now that it's in the JE import spreadsheet, it's very easy to copy those values right out of the, the email that we get from the insurance company, paste them right into the Excel. Um, we do some calculations on some of the fields, and then we can post it directly over into QuickBooks. So the other thing I should mention is there are just a couple requirements for this uh, program to work. Uh, those requirements are listed on the info sheet in here. First of all, you do need to be running QuickBooks Desktop 2002 or later, so it does not need to be a new version of QuickBooks by any means, but it does need to be running on Windows OS. And then Microsoft Excel needs to be version 2013 or later, uh, and it does also need to be a 32-bit program. That's just because the, the system that Intuit wrote to connect to QuickBooks is a 32-bit program, and so in order to talk to that program, Excel needs to be a 32-bit program. Pretty straightforward. There's really not a lot of requirements. So that's the JE entry worksheet. Very simple to create journal entries in Excel, push them quickly over into QuickBooks. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on our website at leftbrainlogic.com.